Hello and welcome. I am so excited that you said yes, uh, that you are committed to go deep into your learning today because going deep is exactly what we're going to do. My name is Lena Palmer. I'm an entrepreneur, a speaker, a career mastery instructor coming to you from Yorkshire in the UK. I'm also the founder of Citrus Connect, who is hosting the webinar today. We have been in the recruitment industry for about 11 years now, and we have successfully placed thousands and thousands of candidates in all types of sales roles around the UK. So we're going to dive deep into really looking at what it takes to really rise in the employment market through this global crisis and any other times of uncertainty that we may experience. It isn't any surprise to anyone that the economy is going through a huge shift right now. In fact, a massive shift. And you really do have the opportunity to thrive. Sadly, some people in this time are going to crash and burn in this moment and get stuck in the struggle, the fear and the scarcity. And others will tap into more opportunities than ever before. They will choose the other way and create some different and more positive results in their life. Most high achievers and success stories are not created at the top of an economic cycle. They are created right now. They're created in the fire. They're created in these times of uncertainty. They are created when everything is crashing and burning around everyone. So we will talk about how you can set yourself up for success, how you can increase your rate of value to your employer and or your future employer and what you can strategically do now and in your future to make this your reality today in this training. Okay, so we're going to go everything, when we go through everything today, sorry, please make sure that you are as comfortable as you can be, stay focused, turn off your phone, turn off any distractions as we're going to go through a lot today. Now, the reason why you think you are here isn't really the reason why you are here. My intention is to give you so much value in this seminar. So make sure you get at least that. And I do have an amazing opportunity for you at the end. So do make sure you stay on for this entire training. So let's talk about what you're going to learn in the seminar today. Firstly, we will talk through the global perspective of what's going on in the planet right now and how you can position yourself to ensure that you rise. We'll then take you behind the scenes of what companies are doing and thinking right now so that you also can understand what crisis means to them and how they plan to rise and what are they doing in order to still achieve their business goals so that you can start thinking like them and really aligning to their mission, their heart and their soul. Every business has a heartbeat. Every business has a soul. And it's really about creating that synergy between your heartbeat, their heartbeat and creating true, true alignment. You really do need to understand these strategic and key elements that they're implementing so you can start aligning your soul mission and purpose in the same way. Last thing is we'll go through an action plan that is very deep and potent so that you can reset yourself in these uncertain times so that you can step into abundance more than ever before and really set yourself up to succeed. I will promise you this, I will promise you that your outlook will be changed after this training. It will be positively impacted if you stay here with an open mind and an intention to really go deep through this process. I will also share with you parts of my own story, things that didn't work for me, so that you can shortcut your own story and really accelerate your results. 
We'll also talk about why some companies and some people are thriving right now and sadly many are deeply struggling. So of course you can learn from this and you'll set yourself up to thrive also. We'll finally tap into the power of being an employeepreneur and the true opportunity that every single person has right now as long as you have the willingness to learn what it takes. It's going to take more than what you're normally used to, fortunately or unfortunately, and it's up to you to decide if you're willing to do what it takes. And then, of course, you're going to receive a powerful action plan that will allow you to reset and then take massive, massive aligned action. You will come out of this training connected to your highest iteration of yourself so that you can show up in a bigger way. So I trust all of this sounds amazing and sounds exciting and great. And remember, whenever I'm sharing my story around this or my beliefs around what's, what I'm going to share with you today, it's so that it can help you unlock your true potential so that you can really step into your purpose and your power. This seminar is not for you if you are not committed to yourself and your future. This training is not for you if you are looking for a quick fix. This is absolutely not for you if you are in these vibrations right now. However, this training is for you if you are here for the long haul. If you're truly committed to showing up and truly doing your work, and I say your work, on a deep level to really rise in these times of uncertainty. So I really invite you to ask yourself right now, are you ready to go into that? Are you ready to go deep into your learning and be the highest version of you? The chances are that if you've been magnetized to this training, you absolutely are. So if you follow me and or Citrus Connect online, the chances are you are aware that I have built a recruitment company from scratch, manifesting hundreds of thousands of pounds every year in my company, helping clients thrive and candidates find their true purpose. Even in these uncertain times, we have continued to place candidates in roles all over the UK. Yes, even now. We have offers, um, we had offers go go out um, last week for people starting um, this week. Uh, We have people starting in a couple of weeks. And yesterday we also had some offers coming for June as well as people starting in April. So we will show you exactly how we have made this happen, working with that employeepreneur mindset putting ourselves in the shoes of our clients. So let me tell you a little bit about me. Um, I was born into a hardworking entrepreneurial family who believed in the system of hard work and education. I was never really asked what my purpose and passions were. I was simply told that hard work led to success as long as I followed the education system. My real passion, my secret desire from a young age was to be an entrepreneur. I always wondered what it would be like to be a millionaire when I was about five years old. I always wanted my own business to call my own shots, to really see something rise from nothing to something huge. But also I had this deep, deep, deep desire to serve. I went on to study international politics at university due to my desire to serve. I had a deep purpose to and a want to save the world from destruction, pain and sadness that I was witnessing in the world. I worked at the United Nations office in New York and realised that the, the big dream that I had was going to take a little more than just little old me. But my dream, my passion, my desire of being an entrepreneur I guess never gave up on me, even though I may have given up on it for a short period of time. I had the opportunity to travel the world with my job. Um, Everywhere I went, 
I could really see the, the pleasure on the outside of people, but really the pain in the inside of people where I, I could feel that they weren't living into their, their real purpose, their passions or their desires. And then in 2005, I lost everything, my income, my way of living. And I took a risk in 2008. I saw it. I saw the opportunity to realize my childhood dream of being entrepreneur. I was introduced to the world of recruitment at this point in my life in the 2008 recession. I was a natural salesperson, so I became a natural at helping companies recognize talent needed for their company and to grow and assist candidates in recognizing what their purpose and passion is and how this can contribute to their company's success. I was always told that good leaders emerge in times of crisis. So I took the risk and I I set up Citrus Connect in the 2008 recession. Some people thought I was absolutely crazy and mad, but I had a mission inside of me. I had a mission to help companies grow and and for candidates to really realise their full potential, which is what my intention for you is today for you to know how you can rise in these uncertain and challenging times. It was uncertain times in the 2008 recession that I realized my purpose, my passion, and that's when I truly stepped into my power. I studied what companies want in a team and what it takes for them to rise in these uncertain times. I was a catalyst, a major catalyst, to to the growth of all the companies that I worked with in 2008 and beyond and help them rise from where they were then to where they ended up to be at the the, the top of the market. And some companies, because of the people in their team, are still at the top of their game. I had no roadmap at that point. I had to develop skill from wherever I could find it. Um, And from that moment, of uncertainty, I built Citrus Connect to where it is today. I want you to shortcut your journey though with a a purpose-built roadmap, not into entrepreneurship because there's so many other options. Being an entrepreneur doesn't suit anybody, but I want to show you a roadmap into employeepreneurship where you truly join forces with a company to help them rise and together you both rise. As I studied successful companies and successful candidates, I realized that whatever you do comes actually, first of all, from the inside out. 80% of your success is how you pull everything forward from the inside. One thing that will set this training apart is that it's not going to tell you to do this or to do that but it will create a strategy from within. And once you nail this, you will find without a shadow of a doubt, your soul aligned purpose in your career. I want to take a second here to tell you about Michael, um, who was 44, um, is 44 still, I think. (laughs) He was stuck. um, He didn't know where his future lay. He came to us with, with no roadmap, no sense of purpose, or direction and no hope really, fearful and very scared about what his future looked like and how he will support himself and his family. We spoke to him at length, took him down a certain process, uh, the, the exact process in fact that we will take you through today and now has found his soul aligned job. So let's get into it. Now let's talk about a high level global perspective of what's happening and going on in the world right now so that you can really position yourself in a way that you can not just survive this moment but actually rise and thrive in this moment. So what we're seeing on the planet right now is a huge economic change It's a huge economic takeover, changeover taking place where we're seeing a collective purging, shifting and clearing process. 
Most people are aware on an individual level what a shifting, purging and clearing process looks like. You know, when you go through something really uncomfortable and all the lower elements of yourself come up and you get to look at it and clear it. And those parts of you then crumble away. And then from this place, you rise to a higher version of yourself. Well, we are going through that, but on a global scale right now. Now, this is a good thing. And we'll talk about why it's a good thing in a minute. However, the thing to know is that through this process and through this clearing, which is taking place, uh, and through the financial systems that are shifting, what we are seeing is heightened levels of uncertainty. And what we are seeing is that more and more companies who are offline companies, their businesses are being hugely, hugely affected. What we are seeing is a massive shift when it comes to jobs. People are losing their jobs, worried about losing their jobs. And if you're worried about losing your job right now, then quite rightly so. And if you're not worried, then my advice is you should be. Furlough does not mean that you are guaranteed a job when this lockdown starts to get lifted. My plea to you right now is not to have your head in the sand, but to be self-aware of what is happening economically right now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything is not going to be that everything is going to be okay. Just like the just like 9-11 changed people's psychology on, on, on the public and travel, what we are seeing is a new mindset on isolation and social distancing. And we're starting to get habituated into that. There is so much fear and no one knows what is right or wrong. No one knows what the conclusion or the solution is or will be. Denmark is not dying in mass when they've done the opposite to the rest of the world. So no one really knows what the new world looks like. So it's about using right now your own critical thinking. Think about the market. What will change when we get back to work? Many companies are releasing their staff right now. They are closing less profitable parts of their business. Furloughing is only possible because of the government support. But do ask yourself, what happens? What will happen when the government can no longer maintain this provision economically? So firstly, it's really important not to be in denial about all of this and not to go, no, it's all okay. And, you know, in a week, everything's going to go back to normal. Firstly, it's not going to go back to normal. It's not going to be in a week. And the thing to know is that unfortunately, normal didn't really work that well anyway. So we are shifting into a new version of normal. There are going to be new systems, new financial systems, new ways of doing business, new global structures, which are going to be coming through. But the thing to do is not get caught up in all the uncertainty, the fear and the doubt and be in denial with it. Don't be in denial that it won't affect me. Be one of those smart people who goes, okay, cool. How can I actually position myself right now in order not to shrink my income, but to actually expand my income in this really intense time that we're in? If I look at trends in history and trends in markets, it it could appear that we're going through a hundred year cycle, possibly a mirror effect of the economic downturn after the Spanish flu in the 1920s. Now, because we're going through all of this uncertainty, because we're going through this global planetary purging, shifting and clearing process, what we're seeing is a lot of challenges and a lot of problems coming up for people. We're seeing people who now have limited income. 
we're seeing people whose expenses are still the same or more, but their income has completely crunched down. We're seeing people go into this space of contraction, of people getting stuck in the fear. We're seeing people who now have a lack of freedom. They have less options. Even amazing and powerful entrepreneurs who have had or have offline businesses, we're seeing them with a huge lack of freedom. We're seeing them massively under pressure right now. Globally, when I see how this is affecting people, I am seeing people really waking up to the realization that they're not actually truly living their soul aligned passion or purpose. I'm seeing people in their jobs who have lost their jobs or are about to lose their jobs. And through this process, realizing, well, I didn't really love that job anyway. And if this is you, then this is an amazing place to be as you now have time to truly be led by your purpose. I'm seeing entrepreneurs as well who have created extremely successful offline companies and businesses that no longer are sure about their purpose. We're seeing people really disconnected from their passion, their purpose and their power. Don't get this confused though with, well, my passion must be the same as my company's products or their services. It doesn't. And I'm going to show you how. It's really about how you are aligned with the same purpose, how their purpose and your purpose becomes the same. So you both are going for the same objective. You're both all in for the same goals and objectives. If your purpose is to serve, then then serve your company. If your purpose is to be the best, then help your company be rise to be the best. If your purpose is fun and being with people, then make your company the funnest, most people-led company on the planet. If your purpose is to be driven by numbers, then use that strength to grow your company. Hope that's making sense for you. What we are seeing is people living at the effects of other people's decisions. For example, if you've been in a job and it gets to the point where the person who's hired you calls you tomorrow and says, you know, I'm sorry, we love you, but you no longer have a job. Through no fault of your own and through somebody else's decision, this has had a profound impact on your living standards and life. We are seeing people living at the effects of other people's decisions going into reactive mode. We are seeing people getting overwhelmed with not knowing where to start with everything. Even if people are realizing, okay, this is the reason and the time for me to truly step up create my own version of my purpose, go out and serve the world in a powerful way. I need to do it. But they don't know where to turn for a plan of action or even how to create one. You know, I see people overwhelmed with that because they really, really, really don't know where to start. You know, we're even seeing people who haven't necessarily lost their jobs, who have some degree of security, being totally stuck and stagnant and going into contraction with fear, but they have security. And that's because they're not really aligned with their their purpose. And, And we're really seeing a massive shift with that at the minute. Seeing people being really lost and confused because they don't know how to pull themselves out of this uncertainty. They don't have the steps and they don't know how to uncover the next layers. They don't really understand how to actually find their soul aligned job. They haven't developed the skill set where they know they are a powerful soul and that they can show up and really rise no matter what the external world is doing. You can still rise 
no matter what the government is doing, no matter what the healthcare system is doing, no matter what your friends and your family are doing. So what I want to do is take you through now a complete system of how you go deeper into the current circumstances and not get pulled down by them, not get swayed by them, not get spun by them, but instead be the eye of the hurricane, be the centre of the storm and be in total stillness. And from that place is where you will rise. From that place is where you will increase your income. It's from that place that you will tap into the deeper layers of your purpose. So I have a system that I'm going to break down for you right now. This is the exact system behind how we have a 90% interview to offer rate and an 80% retention rate with most of our clients. I'm going to go fast, so make sure you take lots and lots of notes. It's the exact system behind my successful recruitment method, the exact system that I've created and implemented support to support clients and candidates alike. We do have limited time here. We usually take four weeks in our masterclass to go through the deeper levels of all the steps and the stages, Uh, but we don't have four weeks right now. So I really want to give you an overview, which is my biggest aim today of what this looks like. So you can start seeing the pieces that you maybe haven't received or you didn't know about, maybe some pieces that were a little stuck for you. So if you're someone who's thinking, Well, I don't even know what my purpose is. And quite frankly, Lena, I don't care. I just need a job. I want a job. I have to put food on the table and I need to pay my bills. This will help you not to go into that contraction mode and land yourself a job that you have no connection to. And ultimately, both parties will be in the long term unhappy. Now, if you're already in your dream job and feel a little stuck or stagnant, then this is definitely going to help you also. If you can see progression in your current company and and don't know where to start, then this will help you also. If you simply want to be an employeepreneur, don't know what it is, but you want to bring new ideas to the company you work with, then this is also going to help you. Wherever you're at within your journey, You will be able to apply what you learn today and go deeper into this. So I want to explain to you the the kind of three key phases and three key steps that are super, super important and that I recommend you go into so you can start implementing today. Some of these you will need deeper strategic advice on for you to create your own strategy from what I said before from the inside out. So the first phase is really to develop, to develop your story, to develop your message and your purpose. Now, I know what you're thinking. You know, Lena, this is about job hunting. Why the hell are you speaking to me about purpose? Why are you speaking to me about stories? But it all starts with a mindset. It's about how you think of your circumstances You have to, have to, have to strike off any fear, any lack, any scarcity that is running inside of you. You can either allow that thing to control you or you can burst through it and discover what's on the other side of those fears. Fears mainly are created out of insecurities or a lack of skill. And the lack of skill then makes those fears and turns them into excuses of I'm too old, I don't have enough experience, everyone's doing everything online and I can't do that, you know it's too fast paced right now, now is the time to confront all of those excuses. If you think you're too old to be in the workforce, if you think you're too old for a job or not experienced enough, then that attitude is exactly what you will bring to the interview or the job that you have right now. If you think about your lack of skill or even defend it, 
Now you bring attention to it. And what wasn't an issue before is now an issue purely because you brought attention to it. So what you should be focusing on is not the lack or your excuses, but focus on the value and the skill set. And it's that that is a match for you. Once you focus on that, then that's what's brought attention to the table, not your lack of anything. Be mindful with your mindset about what you bring to a presentation as as that has everything to do with purpose. But if you really want to rise, you've got to know your desire, your purpose and your power, your truth and your voice and what you want to do in this time of total uncertainty is that. Then look at the common factor of all of that and the common factor there is you. We have your voice, we have your purpose, we have your mission, your transformations and the last time I checked none of that is outside of you. None of that depends on what the government's doing, what the healthcare system is doing. None of that depends on how many businesses have closed or gone into restructure. We have you. And that's why I am so passionate about helping so many people build a powerful personal awareness around your story and around the value and the skill set that you can add to a business. Before we do that, we need to clarify that story, clarify that development of what your purpose truly is. Now, there is something deeply locked inside of you. We've helped thousands and thousands of people tap into their unique passion. There are layers of soul searching and deep diving. It's about getting clear on what you want. Get clear on your story is one of the main, main things. You know, people learn through storytelling. It's how we've learned from our childhood to where we are today. You know, we read biographies and and we learn through their stories, of their stories of leadership, their stories of breakthrough. It's stories is what connects us and shows those breakthroughs. It helps people remember you. So when an interviewer or an employer asks, tell me about yourself, you connect with them by telling them your story, which is ultimately what your purpose is. You know, when I talked about my story earlier on, you felt more connected to me, right? Well, this is what you need to do with your employer now and any future employers. Make sure they know your story but keep it professional with some personal elements. You know, I can tell you of a story of of one of the members of of Citrus Connect and they went through some life-changing, absolutely life-changing experiences. Um, And that is what connected me to them. Their purpose became my purpose and my purpose became their purpose and we found a complete match there. So don't eliminate the power of storytelling when it comes to creating a connection with your employer now and your future employer. Position yourself as that person, as that story in the marketplace. You know, really think about how do you want to serve? Who do you want to help? And how have you done this in the past? And what you will bring to the future. Now your resume is a story, right? Your resume is a is a marketing tool of that story. It's a, a business proposal. So think of your career as a business and as a story. Connect your story to the story of the business you want to help. You know, my advice right now is to really research the company that you may be in at the moment, research what's happening in that particular industry, research a company that you're potentially going to interview for and really get clear on the problems they're facing right now. What are their challenges? What is the pathway to get them to where they are now 
to where they desire to be and show them that through your story, show them that through their own story. And if you can get them closer to their end result, then that's a match made in heaven where both purposes completely align. So when I talk about purpose, it takes a range of skill sets. It's not just about developing your story and purpose, but creating the same online. You know, what this crisis has shown us for sure is that online is going to become more and more important as companies look for their ideal team. It's about developing that extra credibility that goes alongside you as an applicant or a member of staff and developing an online personal brand. And when we talk about online personal brands, you know, people always think it's just for um, entrepreneurs or people who want to have, you know, a laptop vis- uh, laptop lifestyle. But it's actually just as prevalent for you as an employee of a company. You know, employers want to know what do you stand for? What are you investing in in your spare time? Are you here just to take or are you here to give? Now, a taking mentality right now for sure is a sure way not to rise. But giving, giving to your company and supporting them with their current needs, looking outside of the box and giving suggestions to help them grow and expand and sustain is what will make you rise right now. You know, a taking mentality, in my opinion, is when somebody is just looking for um, time equals money. You know, that kind of mentality is not going to make you rise at the moment. Value is king in the marketplace. You will get paid for the value that you add to your company. And unfortunately, value doesn't come from just a take mentality. It comes from a give mentality. What can you give um, to this company? What value and skill and talent do you have that is going to help them on their pathway from where they are right now to where they want to be? Yeah. So you need to connect to all members of your team with your online presence and your LinkedIn profile is a massive plus right now. LinkedIn is growing at an exponential rate and in terms of your digital footprint professionally is definitely the place to go. And if there is something negative on your digital footprint, maybe a Google, whatever it may be, make it part of your story, flip it, turn it around, get super, super clear on the spectrum of skills and the value that you can add to any company and make that very, very evident on any digital profiles that you have, especially if it's for your current company that you're working in. Now is the right time to show them that you're investing into new skill. Right now is the time to show them that you are doing research on their industry, that you want to invest in them to help them rise. Because if you help them when you need them, they'll be there for you for sure. However, We can't keep developing our story and our purpose and our message for forever. You know, you definitely won't make any money or rise or thrive in these uncertain times if you just keep focusing on developing your message. If you have the exact skill that an employer is looking for, um, but you are just talking about it in your spare room, then no one is going to hit no one's going to hear you. So that brings me to our next step, which is advance. Now, advancing into the field, advancing into the marketplace, is really a powerful time to advance into the marketplace right now. This is the time where companies are looking at their team and deciding who stays, you know, who goes, who's going to be replaced, What new functions does the company require? What new skill sets does the company require? And if you've been following us online, you'll have seen the findings of our most recent surveys and our interview with a lean business expert. You know, right now, businesses are trimming the fat. They are reorganizing. They are restructuring. 
Yes, even if you have been furloughed, you know, behind the scenes, they are looking at profit, they're looking at loss, and quite rightly so, you know, they're cutting expenses and the fat in the business. Companies have to know their numbers at the moment. It's tight for every company. It's not really the time to be heavily optimistic, but it's not the time to be overly pessimistic either. So it, so it creates an overwhelm. Um, and companies and staff give up, you know, numbers mean cost. Businesses are looking at their numbers right now. They have to make tough decisions. Otherwise, the price later on will be far too high because they will bleed too much if they leave it too late. You know, the leaders of your company are getting paid to make these tough decisions. Take some of that pressure off some of the leaders right now. You know, the us as leaders, as entrepreneurs, we don't have all the answers. We're leaning on intelligence in the marketplace. And believe it or not, you are the intelligence in the marketplace. If you help them with research, if you help them with understanding what's happening right now, businesses are not sitting on the fence at the moment. They're acting now, even if it is, like I said, behind the scenes, and they're not making it visible to their staff. Because right now, if businesses downsize, then they can be successful. And unfortunately, that is the hard truth. Success right now is not about obsessing about the product or the services of your company um, and what it has to offer. But right now is the time to obsess and fall absolutely in love with your customer. You need to know what the needs of your customers are and how and if they've changed. Do what it takes to meet their needs. And if you meet their needs, over deliver on them, exceed on them, then the business that you're in, your employer and their business will absolutely thrive and rise. No one unfortunately knows what's going to happen. What we do know is that companies are investing into virtual reality, augmented reality. You know, Tony Robbins, for example, owns um, a, a huge education platform. It's an events-based company. And what they are doing at the moment is trialing a 3D virtual reality events where Tony is presenting, uh, but you put on these 3D glasses and you feel like you're in the event. So companies are trialing, they're investing, they're, you know, doing little trials to find out what works, what doesn't work and creating success stories wherever they possibly can. You know, if you think of some other success stories that I've read online, you know, there's a, a bakery in San Francisco where um, they've decided to create little cakes for about two to four people with quirky messages about uh, lockdown and quarantine on these little cakes. And they've sold so, so well with a delivery option where their business now is bigger than it was before. You know, Costa Coffee in Cornwall, for example, they have reinvented their drive through coffee um, shop to a, a blood testing center. They're really reacting to what their customers are needing right now. Pets at Home is another example where they've grown uh, throughout this crisis, you know, providing medicine and vet, um, vet supplies, doing direct deliveries, doing exactly what their customers want and need right now. Another industry that's grown at the moment is pizza delivery, believe it or not. There are more pizzas being delivered right now than ever before. Um, and, and that's because people are transforming to meet the needs of the clients where they are right now. So you've got to absolutely fall in love with your business's customer. And plus, as an employeepreneur, as somebody who wants to rise and thrive, you have to know what's going on in the marketplace for you to advance into it. Companies are brainstorming solutions. They are trying new things, whether that's um, augmented reality, virtual reality. They're trying these things with a very small number of people and they are brainstorming. They are creating things that will transform. They're creating more profitability. So let me ask you, are you helping your current company brainstorm? 
if they're doing it behind the scenes and you don't know about it, why are you not making yourself part of that? And if you're looking for a new job, bring that brainstorm to the interview for with you. And I, sure, I assure you that you will shine above the rest. Companies are really nailing down on who their ideal customer is right now. Who's going to stay through the thick and thin? Who will tell people, other people, about our products and services? Are you doing this right now on or behalf of the business owner that you're working with? Or are you doing this before your interview so you can show an understanding of the business and their ideal customer and who it is and really aligning with them to their goals before you even get to the interview, which is ultimately what your purpose will be. Do that now. Do that before your interview, before the company, because I assure you, you will shine above the rest. Focus more on value. Find a way to do do things more, not just for the customer, but for your employee as well, than anyone else in the industry is doing right now. Do more than anybody would expect. Fall in love with your company, fall in love with your customer and get you and your company ready to win. That is where you will rise. That is where you will thrive. So if you don't know this, you can't advance successfully into the marketplace. People who do are the ones who will rise. Don't let this overwhelm you though, you know, do bite-sized pieces, create daily actions and those daily actions, you will automatically magnetize your soul aligned company to you as it will grow through you and within, within you. So in these times of uncertainties, businesses are really asking themselves, who can I trust? Who can I listen to? Whose knowledge can I trust and feel is credible? Because believe me, we, just because we're entrepreneurs, doesn't mean, like I said before, that we have all the answers. We are looking to our team right now, the people who are invested in us as we are in them. Now is the time to shine as an employee or a potential employee to show the business owner that you are on the same page, that your goal is their goal. And so their goal becomes your goal. It has to be aligned. There are so many other ways to advance into the marketplace. But the main thing I want to talk about is advancing from a place of preparation, understanding and knowing what's going on in the marketplace right now on developing your story and advancing into the marketplace and the next thing is to grow your career. Now if you don't start with growth in mind when you start a job or any type of career then your vision will never become a reality. It's really about leveraging your capacity to serve and scaling your expertise and knowledge about the business and or the company. So I don't know, like we can look at things like looking for speaking opportunities outside of your company to leverage the presence of you as an individual, as an expert, but also to leverage the presence of your company as well. Maybe do Facebook lives on your personal Facebook page or do live videos on your LinkedIn profile to increase the visibility daily of your company and what it's doing. It's really about stepping into employeepreneurship. If you tap into your center of influence to grow the company that you work for, you are absolutely going to position yourself to rise. Now, if you treat the business like you own it, even though you're not an entrepreneur, you will always rise in times of uncertainty. If you don't have growth strategies in place and you're just expecting promotions by just having a job, then you are still living in the old normal. Now, remember right at the beginning, I talked to you about an old normal not working. Um, It's really now about how the economy develops into a new normal. And that's also going to transfer into a new normal within the workforce and what companies are actually looking for. What is going to be their ideal 
team player going forward. Scale your progression. You know, a company, what they truly, truly want is an army of light workers behind the scenes who are deeply committed to their purpose and their mission, which ultimately becomes your purpose. Again, there are so many pieces I could go through in the growth stage and into employeepreneurship and what that what that means. But the biggest thing I want you to take is to get passionate. Get passionate about your company's customers and fall in love with those customers. Do what it takes to serve those customers, exceed their expectations. Now you can go and figure out all the pieces yourself or you can receive the support to really accelerate your journey. Now, I know you have a burning deep desire within to do something great. And that doesn't always have to be being an entrepreneur. You know, you can do absolutely exceptional things as an employee. You can become a millionaire being an employee. You're not just here to pay bills, to fit into a system, but you're truly here to create your own path. And I believe it is a soul-led obligation of you that you get to surrender to. So I'm doing this training today because I know people who will wake up in this time of uncertainty. And the more and more people I speak to, the more and more people I see are stepping into their power. You know, the world needs us now more than ever in this time of flux, in this time of uncertainty. The answers are in you right now. So ask yourself, who are you to quit on yourself when companies are needing you? You know, your story that I was talking about before, your story doesn't belong to you. Your story and your breakthroughs belong to the companies that you are going to serve, where you're going to further develop your story and take you to higher, higher places. There's a calling in you right now. So who are you not to listen to that? Who are you to quit on your purpose when a company is waiting for you to step into your power? That is how I personally pull myself into alignment. My story doesn't belong to me. I get rid of my ego because my story, my purpose, my passion belongs to the people that I will serve. It belongs to the companies that I will help grow. It's not really about me. There are so many companies waiting on me right now. It is time to forego that ego and do what is right by the people who are waiting for you to join forces with them. So, you know, some of the people who listened to that and surrendered to that and said yes to this call and really started putting some of these pieces together and utilising the system. They are the people who have managed to get jobs in the last few months. They're the people who have job offers waiting for them to start later this month or next month. They're the people that we have been working with. So I'm really excited for you to experience doing this inner work and anchor all of this in. There's really no way to mess this up. It's all within you. You've got the answers within you. So I really thank you. It's truly been a gift to serve you in this way. Ask yourself, has this time invested into this training? Has it been well spent? Has it been beneficial for you? Did something new come up for you? Uh, What were the advantages if they were any? Tune your system to be aware of that and look for the abundance and the possibilities and the outcomes and jot them down right now is because some ideas will be bubbling inside of you about what you can do, what you will do, whether that's you with your current employer or you looking for a new job. However, I want you to think, you know, what would it feel like if we were to spend some more time together? What would it feel like if you were to be guided and supported and did a deep dive into a four-week immersion where we don't just talk about developing 
advancing into the marketplace and growing your career, but we actually get it done. Today was amazing, but it was just one short session. We have created a four week journey so you can really truly shift and rise in these times. These four weeks will help you rise through these uncertain times that that we're experiencing right now, but also set you up to rise into more uncertain times that we may come into. It will help you discover a career and it will create a bulletproof plan for you to to discover that career and rise in it. It will help you build a legacy that is in absolute deep alignment with you, your purpose and your passions. We do have a special reduced rate for anyone attending this webinar today. There is an application process, so just don't refresh this page so you can applicate, um, sorry, access the application process when we finish today. So let's just quickly recap on what we've covered um, today in this training. Um, we've discussed a higher global perspective, um, not to be in denial, but really acknowledge and position yourself to rise. We have shared with you the exact systems to develop your story, advance into the marketplace and grow your career with practical tools and tips. We've shared with you stories of candidates and companies who have risen in these times and the skill that it's taken to get there and what you need to do to help your company grow right now, even if it's not even if it is growing at the moment, how you can help it to grow even further. If you decide to go deep with me for four weeks, then this is exactly what we will cover. So week one, we will discover what it, what kind of mindset does it actually take into developing your story, your message and your purpose. Week two, we'll go into personal branding for you and your company and how to develop yourself as an expert for your company. Week three, we'll go into how to advance into the marketplace, whether you are unemployed, looking for a new job, or you're keeping your options open in case the worst happens, or you're simply looking to advance into the marketplace as an expert of your current company to help them grow and thrive. And finally, in week four, we'll focus on business growth strategies, how to grow your career alongside it with a proven employeepreneurship navigation system. We do have an important application process um, because we will only work with specific people who are committed to doing the work. Uh, There is no obligation um, after the application, so you might as well apply and see if it's a fit for you or not. You will also receive bonuses as my heart is really truly to serve. So we will give you a lean business training, um, a video training and why that's important in times of crisis. Uh, We'll give you a career mastery resources guide, a LinkedIn and personal branding training with templates, job hunt hack sheets, unlimited email access to me, which means you can ask me anything any time on any of the content and the reflection work and I will give you a no holds barred feedback. You will also get two one hour coaching sessions with me pouring into you more than a decade's worth of experience working with companies and their hiring policies. So here's what I know for sure. You have to position yourself to thrive especially now. You just need the right to strategic steps to do so. So I'm looking forward to you joining me in our Career Mastery Masterclass. For now, I thank you. I hope this has been valuable for you and that you've gained some insights into how to thrive into your passion, your purpose and your power. So thank you and ciao.